Mm. All right. Hold on. I think that's good. Hello, everybody. Hold on. I was just adjusting my thing real quick. Okay. Can y'all see me? I was trying to get a really good angle to where y'all can see me and the black stone, but it's kind of hard. I think y'all can see me. <laughs> I think we're good. How is everybody doing today? So we are cooking dinner on my new electric blackstone today. Hello, Steven. Hello, Laurie. So while everybody joins, this takes a little bit to heat up. So I'm going to start heating it up. It does have two separate like parts. So I'm going to turn it on. And I did test it this morning live on Facebook. So I kind of know the temperature that is kind of good. So I'm going to set both of them to 350. And we're going to start letting this heat through while we let everybody join on in. Okay, that's heating. So how is everybody doing? I'm really excited to use this tonight. Hello, Jamie. I know, I'm excited. So I used it this morning on Facebook, like I said, because I hadn't used it before. I just got it and I wasn't going to jump here on live and have no idea how to use it so i tested it out this morning if you caught me on facebook or this afternoon i just made some um quick bacon and egg tacos on it and i was testing out the temperatures i was figuring out how to like turn it off and all that good stuff and it's super easy so it's heating up right here it has these two buttons you see them you just push them you turn the dial to set the temperature you want at this morning i started like 2 30 i wanted to see how hot it would get and then I felt like 350 is like the perfect temp um, for like basic stuff. I feel like if you're cooking burgers, you probably have to go up to like 400. Hello. Oh my God. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's so pretty. So it has the top. It has two. It has the left zone, the right zone. So it heats different temperatures, like I said. Right here, y'all can see I have my cup right here. It's like a little side table. And at the bottom... It comes with two of these trays so you could put food in here. So if you're cooking like a lot of burgers at once, you can just put them in this and put it to the side. So it comes with two of these. And then you can't see it, but in the front, it has like a little spice rack or anything you want to put right here, like oils or something like that. It has that in the front as well. Hello, everybody. What are you doing? Hold on, I was seeing my babies. I don't know what they're doing. I think they were letting the dog out. Oh, it's right. Hello, hello. Why right? But because I have to get the angle of me and it in there, so it's kind of hard. But it looks good. Hi, in San Antonio. We'll be going there. Yeah, we're probably gonna be going to San Antonio very soon, like in the next couple weeks. Week or two. Week or two. Probably two weeks, I think. You know, the kids have a day off soon from school. Not this weekend, probably next weekend. Yeah, probably next weekend we'll be in San Antonio. In Boston, hello in Boston. So today I'm making, I sliced up some ribeye for some beef and broccoli. So I have some ribeye sliced up. I got some broccoli right here. Now I kind of steamed the broccoli just a little bit because I didn't know if it would cook all the way on the blackstone without like burning. I wanted it to get tender so I steamed it just a bit before we cook it on the blackstone. And then I'm going to be having some cauliflower rice on the side. I'm going to be mis mixing some carrots in there with peas. And then I had some shrimp on hand so I'm going to go ahead and mix in some shrimp too. And just some seasoning, some egg in my cauliflower rice because I love egg in the rice. Oh yeah, cutting out red meat definitely helps. Um, I have red meat quite a bit. I try not to, but I honestly mostly have chicken most of the time. Hello, everybody. So if you missed it, I'm letting my blackstone heat up. We got two sides going, the right and the left, and it gets hot pretty fast. And this is a ceramic top, so it's non-stick and it's nice, but you can't use metal on it, so you have to use like plastic or, you know, like this kind. Um... And then it really it cleans up really easily because I used it this morning. Everything wipes right off. It does have a drip tray in the back for like oils because I was cooking bacon this morning and all the bacon grease went back there. You just scoot it in there and then you have to only clean it with soap and water. So it's super easy to clean. Hello, hello. 
Calabacita recipe. Yeah, I'm actually making that this week. I think I'm making it tomorrow. I love calabacitas. It's so good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hello in New York. Hello. Mm. I got some coffee right here, iced coffee that I made here at home. I was like um, not having energy midday. I swear, like after I pick up the kids from school, I need some energy. So yeah, I need energy to come home and feed them and get everything ready. It's almost there, it's almost heated through. Yeah, it's pretty hot already. Okay, I don't know what to start on first. I guess, I mean, you have to make everything at once, but we're gonna start with the meat and the broccoli. Now with the meat, I'm just going in with some garlic, salt and pepper, some ginger, soy sauce. I love sriracha, so I got some sriracha right here. And we're gonna see how it goes. Remember guys, I'm still testing this out. I only made bacon and eggs on it, so yeah. Does it smoke up the house? I've only used it this morning and no, it didn't. I was making bacon on it. It didn't pop everywhere. It didn't get like extra hot. I was kind of trying to play with, uh, around with the temperatures. No, it's made for the inside. So if you, if you do want this, you don't have to get the cart with it. Although I do recommend it so you can roll it places, but you can just buy the top and this comes off the cart too. So like the whole Blackstone itself, like the, the griddle part comes off the cart and then you could put it like on your counter. So you can use it on your counter or you can just use it like somewhere else. And um, it d does that. Hi, thank you so much for the compliments. 2021, you've been following me for a while. So, so far I haven't had no smoking up the house. And hopefully it stays like that. <laughs> okay. This is pretty hot and it's getting hot. It says that it heats up quicker when you have the lid closed, but you don't have to have the lid closed. So this is pretty hot already and I feel like we could get started. Yeah, it saves money, like my husband said, if you get it without the cart, but if you like the cart and you want it to roll around and it locks and it does come with a side tray, so if you do want that, you could buy it with the cart too. Okay, this is pretty hot. So we're gonna start dropping down our steak. I'm gonna put a little bit of sesame oil to give it some flavor. I know the cauliflower rice will probably quick uh, cook pretty fast, so. I'm not a professional yet. Y'all ain't gonna be seeing me flip stuff. I will get there. No, just kidding. Okay, we're gonna season with some salt and pepper for my steak. Oh, I'm gonna add in the broccoli too. Let's add in the broccoli on this side. So this can get tender. I'm so excited. Y'all are gonna see me start with like two things. I'm gonna start flipping stuff very soon once I get the hang of this. Yes, yeah, so I'm using sesame oil. We got some black pepper. I love me some sesame oil. And I love ginger, so we're going in with ginger. We got some minced garlic. This is probably gonna be super quick because that's what it's supposed to be. You're supposed to cook everything at once and it's supposed to be like super fast, so we gotta hurry. We're gonna add some soy sauce. You can use liquid aminos too, but this is what I had on hand, or coconut aminos. Add a little bit of that. I'm kinda eyeballing everything. I do have a separate video on a beef and broccoli and cauliflower fried rice, like if y'all want to look it up. We're going to go in with some um, ginger. I love the smell of ginger. I could literally like put this whole bottle. What else? Okay. So we're going to cook the meat through. And then on this side, I'm going to start heating through the cauliflower rice. I'm so excited. So far, so I have the temperature at 350. And it's doing really good so far. So over here, I'm gonna start searing. My shrimp is already cooked. I just have to heat it through, so I don't know. That's gonna be pretty fast. Should I start it? Let's put down the cauliflower rice. It says my oil keto friendly. Yes, everything I'm using is always keto friendly. Zero carbs, 
zero grams of protein, 14 grams of fat, 120 calories. So yes, everything I'm using is keto friendly, I promise. You probably mentioned this, but where'd you buy it? Off of Amazon, or if you can find it at Walmart. I think Walmart has it, but Amazon is where I ordered it from. I feel like 350 is a really good temperature. So we're going to leave it like this. I don't like for my broccoli to touch my meat and it's like not cooked. We need to hire it, we'll hire it. Sorry if I missed somebody else's comments. I'm trying to go through them as I cook. Okay, we're going to lay down some cauliflower rice. I am adding some peas and carrots. This is a little bit higher in carbs. I'm not going to add much, but I have to have it in my cauliflower rice. It's so good. I'm not going to be eating all of this, but I am going to cook it, and I'm going to save some for leftovers. I'm going to put some more sesame oil down on this side for the fried rice. this right here oh my god this is exciting we're gonna put down our shrimp I'm pretty I pretty much use the same seasonings for like both things some ginger salt and pepper Oh, it smells so good already. What else? What else did I have? Oh, it's soy sauce. I'm going to heat through the cauliflower fried rice first, and then we'll add some carrots. Yes, Chinese leftovers are always the best because it, like, marinates. What do I have? Oh, my God. Um, it always, like, marinates in the flavor. Thank you. I got this top. I want to say Ross, I think. I think it was raw. I just get nervous about like everything falling off the side, so I kind of got to like scoot it to the middle. Pretty good temperature going on over here. The good thing about these is if you have a big family and you want to get everything done super quick, you can cook a lot of stuff at once. So that's the good thing about it. Okay, we're gonna add in just a little bit of peas and carrots. So I just have like this frozen mix. I'm gonna add it over here. I'm gonna add in about a cup and that'll do. Does anybody have one of these? Or like any type of blackstone? I'm making a mess. Got my other spoon. I feel like this area is like not getting too hot. I feel like it's more like right here. Maybe I need to raise it a little bit. Hi in Indiana. How are you doing today? This smells so good. I wish y'all were here to smell this right now because it smells good. The one for outside. Yeah, I have the one for outside, the propane one. Mm. It's the big one and it has the air fryers in it. I've only used it a couple times. It's because I don't go outside to my backyard like as much as I would be inside. And although it's great, I feel like this one's more convenient for me because I'm always inside, I'm always doing videos in here, and if I want to like quick cook a quick breakfast for my kids, I don't have to go outside. This is already in here, and I can just cook everything at once, so I feel like it's more 
convenient for me if you know what i mean this is electric this one's electric the one i have outside the bigger one is propane the one outside you have to season because it's like kind of like a ga uh, cast iron topping so you have to season it you have to make sure it doesn't stick you have to really take care of it this one's kind of easier because it's not it is ceramic i think so you don't have to season it you can just wipe it off clean it with soap and water so it's easier to me to take care of and maintain and that's what i like So yes, this one is electric. So I have it plugged in back here. You just plug it in and it's good to go. I'm still trying to play around with the temperatures. I feel like this needs to be raised a bit. So it's at 350. I'm going to go to 375 and see how that does and set it. And all you do is push it, turn, push it again to set. And then when you want to turn off the heat, you have to hold it down. Okay. I'm going to add a little sriracha to my cauliflower rice. I love me some sriracha. I love it spicy. My smoke alarm be going off. No. You want one inside? Yeah, I love it. Get one. Like to me, they're pretty affordable. It was like two thirty with the cart, but I know it's cheaper if you just want the griddle part and you can put it on your counter. Like if y'all have the space. Yes, I'm adding scrambled egg to the fried rice. I'm gonna do it here in a bit. Okay, so I raised my temperature a bit and it's cooking a little bit faster and better. I know electric, you kind of have to play around with it. Like if it were like gas or propane, it'd be way stronger. Because when I tried my propane one the last time, I had set it too high and it was like super quick. So I kind of like the electric one at, at, at this point, like to play around with it. Okay, we're getting the shrimp piece cooked through. Really heat it through, they're already cooked. Heating this up. Oh, sriracha smells so good. See, they kind of come off the edge a bit, so I got to make sure to stay away from the edge because I don't want to mess. But this does come off if you need to clean under it. I'm going to be eating good tonight. I'm going to get a little sear of my cauliflower rice. Okay, we're gonna be adding some egg. I'm gonna add some green onions to my cauliflower rice. And then at the end, I know I have sriracha, but I love this stuff. Has anybody tried this? Oh my God. When I first met my stepdad, um, y'all know he's Korean. If y'all didn't know, he's Korean, half Korean, half Mexican. And he introduced me to this hot sauce. Oh my God, it's so good. It's chili garlic sauce, super spicy, but really, really good. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> this stuff right here. I just saw your comment. Yes, my husband does. How are your boys? They're doing good. They're over there playing. They're in the room with uh, their dad and the other one's playing his game. They're just relaxing after school. They ate. My boys are constantly eating, so. But they're doing good. Thank you for asking. I don't know if this broccoli is gonna get tender on here. That's the only thing I'm worried about over here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together so it can get tender with the juices from the meat. You can tell the temperature raised to 375. So I'm going to be doing some like recipe videos on this. A lot of people wanted to see like the rice. So I'll try to like make a different kind of recipe for y'all and cook it on here for a video. But I really want to test. This wasn't even supposed to be today's live. I was supposed to make uh, another dessert that Duncan Hines, Hines, oh my God, 
that Duncan Hines dessert that y'all wanted to try. But then I got this in during the week and I was like, nope, we gotta test it on live. We gotta do it. Okay, I'm gonna mix my shrimp in with my rice and then I'm gonna cook the eggs. I'm gonna scoot it this way. I'm gonna scramble the eggs on the side and then we'll mix it in with the rice. Jinky is waiting right here, my dog. Like, what you cooking over here? Why are you in this area? I'm not in the kitchen. I need to taste the piece to see if it needs like more salt or anything. Oh no, that's really good. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm excited. That is super good. Okay. Eggs. We're going in with two scrambled eggs. I made bacon this morning on here. You know how much bacon you can make on here? You can make a lot of bacon super fast, I'll tell you that. Okay, I'm trying to keep the eggs in one place because I don't want it to go everywhere. Okay. You doing bake? Ray just got off of work earlier. He's been working a lot. <laughs> Okay. I feel like my beef is done, so we can kind of turn off this side over here. I don't want it to overcook. Okay, I'm gonna turn off this side and it'll still be hot so it'll settle. So you just hold this button down so it turns off. We'll turn off that side. This side is still cooking. We're gonna scramble up these eggs. Code word for the dogs. <laughs> I know, every time I say that word, they come running like, what? Or any type, like chicken too. I say chicken. Turn the other side off so the shrimp don't overcook. I don't think it'll overcook because it's, it's kind of like not too high. Yeah, I can't turn this side off because I'm scrambling the eggs on this side. So once I'm done with the eggs, I'll turn it off. Cause it's just two sections. So basically it's like split down the middle. This was super fast to cook. I feel like the more I get the hang of it, like with the temperatures wise, the, the faster um, I will be able to cook. What'd you say babe? Do you prefer to use it inside versus outside? Um, yeah, just because it's more convenient. Like when I come home, I can just cook, cook something super quick than like have it versus having to go outside. It's just already in here. I feel like the outside ones are like more for like barbecues or if you have like a patio right outside your door, cause mine you have to walk all the way to the back cause I have like a long sidewalk. So it's not as convenient for me, but if you have it like right outside your door, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's good both ways. These scrambled eggs come out really good because it doesn't stick, which I really like. It just comes right off. I'm going to season the eggs a little bit with some salt. A little bit of pepper. And then I also have the green onions, so I'm going to add those in right now. Oh yeah, it's super good. It smells really good in here. And y'all see how it, it doesn't smoke up or anything, because I know you're asking. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the scrambled eggs in. Mix this in. And then we're going to add, I have some chopped green onions. And that's basically what I like to put in my fried rice. Sometimes I'll do it without the shrimp, but since I had shrimp on hand today, I was like, might as well use it. So we got some shrimp fried rice.
Oh no, I lost the shrimpy. Okay, that's the only thing you gotta be careful with this edging. I'm trying to go crazy over here and then I'm dropping stuff. Let me get it before my dog gets it because they can't have that. Okay, I got it. I'm definitely going to be getting one, but then get the cart alone. Well, it comes with the cart. Like you don't have to buy it separate. How do you clean that? With just soap and water. So like if you're using a lot of grease, there's a drip tray back here and you can scrape everything to the back. I'm gonna turn this off. And then you just clean it with soap and water. This does come off of the heating element. So you can just take it to the sink or you can just clean it right here and wipe it down with paper towels. So it's super easy to clean, but you cannot put it in your dishwasher. It is not dishwasher safe. Well, it wouldn't even fit, but in the first place, you can't put it in there. Okay, everything is done. So we're gonna let this cool down. And that was super quick to make. This would have took me longer over the stove because you can cook everything at once. I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame seeds to my beef and broccoli because I just like the way it looks. Makes it look pretty. We're gonna enjoy our dinner here in a minute. Yes, the plate does come off. I like those flat beef ribs. Thank you for showing us your new gadget. You're welcome. No, Jinky did not get that shrimp. I, I picked it up. She went over there with Ray. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be getting one. Oh yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to skip y'all's comments. Okay, this is, smells so good. Let's go ahead and serve our plate. So what would y'all like to see me cook on here? Oh, sorry, sorry. The dogs here knocks and they go inside. Hey, no, be quiet. Okay, we're gonna serve ourselves some beef. I only use one ribeye because it was just for me, so I'm just gonna eat half. Then I'll save the other half. It looks really good. Okay, then we got the rice. Oh yeah. I forget how much cauliflower or fried rice or how much it makes just with one bag. Okay, here is my dinner that I made on the Blackstone. That was super quick. I feel like this was the fastest live to cook. Fajitas, oh yeah, fajitas sound really good. Um, with some low carb tortillas, fajitas sound good. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I know, I go insane with sriracha. Cause sriracha's, oh no, I needed my oil. Hold on. Yeah, fajitas sound good. Um, the tacos, so many breakfasts that you can make on here. Kebab, ooh, kebabs, I haven't made kebabs in forever. The sky's the limit, I know, right? And there's so many things to make. Okay, I'm gonna have a little side of this chili garlic. Should I have this on camera? Cause I feel, you know how when you eat something spicy at first, it's like really spicy and then you start choking? Or is that just me? Okay, here is beef and broccoli and cauliflower fried rice or yeah. Pancakes, yeah, I wanted to make some pancakes this morning but I was filling tacos. So I was gonna make some keto pancakes, but I was like, you know what? I'll just make some tacos, so I ended up making those. I forgot to get a fork. Looks very nice, reminds me of those Japanese restaurants. Yeah, and then if you wanna keep everything warm, you just close this, and then you just put it off to the side. Everything will stay warm, and that's super nice. And then it rolls. Oh, let me roll it. It rolls just like, I think I locked it. It rolls, the wheels lock, so it doesn't move all over the place. Super convenient. Yes, it looks so good. Look at this. I'm gonna let it cool down. We're gonna give it a test try. Wait, let me get a fork. Hold on. I remembered everything else and then I forgot to grab a fork. Okay, and then I was drinking, um, these are Propel's, I love Propel. Zero sugar, this is the berry flavor. Yeah, that was like really fast. 
<laughs> I thought it was gonna take a little bit longer, but that was like super quick. He's like, if I was cooking up this stove, it would have took a little bit longer. So if you have a big family, like I said, meals would be super quick on these because you can get everything done like in different corners. Yes, I'll link the one I have. After this video, I'll put it in the description so y'all could look into it. Your computer is working out. Awesome, we just finished. How much was it, the Blackstone? It was 230. Are you sure? I thought it was way more. I thought it was like 300 or something. No, I think with taxes, it was like between 230 and 250. Are you sure? Because I don't know if there's something like 300 on that count. Oh, maybe it was 300. I can't remember. It was between 250 and 300 with taxes. Ray would tell me right now. He's going to look into it because I can't remember. You could definitely eat red meat on keto. It just takes a lot of people like to cut it out a bit because it takes longer to process. So if you're having too much of it, you can cut back. We just finished. <laughs> we literally just finished because it, it was so fast to cook on this Blackstone. So if you missed it, guys, I'm sorry. But um, we made some shrimp cauliflower fried rice. It has eggs, it's shrimp. Oh, it was three hundred dollars. Oh, I thought it was like two something. Yeah, without the, without the oh, without the car. Okay, so without the car, if you just want the Blackstone itself, it's like two fifty. But if you want the car, it's a little bit over three hundred dollars. But we made the shrimp fried cauliflower rice. We made some beef and broccoli on my new Blackstone. We got some leftovers right here. It is cooling down, but it's gonna keep everything nice and warm. Sorry guys, I was confused on the price because I knew it was around two something, but I guess it's without the cart. Without the cart, uh, you could get one for that 17 inches. That's all one burner, it's like 187. A so smaller one? That's one, yeah, one burner. Like one With one burner, it's like one what? One heating element, it's what? 187 with just one heating element so it's going to be a smaller top this one a 17 inch this one is a 22 inch so if you want a little one it can be cheaper but i i don't know i kind of like this size it's pretty good size it's not overly big and it's not too small yes i have white eyeliner on i actually started incorporating white eyeliner i feel like it makes your eyes pop more thank you you noticed Y'all always notice my makeup. It's funny. You guys, I used to be so into makeup. Like, I love to do my makeup, but kind of, I like to kind of keep it simple now. Unless I'm like a special occasion and I really want it to pop, then I'll do that. But my everyday looks, I kind of like to keep it simple. <laughs> but I used to be really into makeup, like a lot. You can find the, the one you have for $2.59 on Walmart, but it's going to have shipping. Yeah, it was like over, it was like $100 shipping, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like the same price. Yeah, you can find it on Walmart, but it, you have to pay for shipping on Walmart, and it was basically like the same price as Amazon. Yeah. I got a Roy a Royer today for my husband. What's that? What's a Roy a Roy a Royer? <laughs> I can't even say it. You know what I mean? What is the R O W E R? What is that? Ninja Blender. Oh, I love Ninja Blenders. What's the difference? Wait, I'm missing comments. Oh, hi, Christine. How are you? <laughs> What's the difference between the Blackstone and a regular countertop McGill? I'm not sure because I don't know what a McGill is. What's up, Elizabeth? Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, Ray says hi, Elizabeth. Cheese tortillas. Yeah, oh, you can. So usually I put the cheese tortillas in the oven so I can like cook them directly on here and that'll be super quick. And you can make so many at once. Just dropping off my honey, my hubby at Union Pacific Depot in Kirby, Texas. Hi, awesome. Be careful out there. Drive safe. This is super good. Hmm. Really good dinner today. I got my beef and broccoli. Beef got nice and cooked and seared. Hmm. I'm trying to chew. What's up, Charlene? Hello, Honda Mommy. How are you tonight? Hello, everybody. 
Oh my god, keto pupusas. Mm. Oh, that sounds really good. Y'all gonna make me cook everything on here. I feel like I would be using this more than my stove top. Because there's so much you can cook everything at once. Hmm. That's so funny that you mentioned the keto pupusas because I thought about pupusas today. Because I was on my way to the store and I saw a pupusa place. Of course, not keto. And I was like, oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> but that sounds so good. We should make some keto ones. Charlene says hi, babe. Yeah, I said hi. Hmm. He says hi. I'm going to be getting the stand after. The rolling cart. This was really good, guys. Ooh, this chili garlic sauce is super spicy, but it's so good. Yes, I have made two turtles and salsa before. Hmm. Yes, I have. With some over easy eggs on the side. Oh my god. Now y'all got me wanting some of that too. Ooh, it's spicy. Why is this so spicy? I haven't had it in a while. My nose will be dripping on here. Oh my god, yes. Chicharrones and salsa is the jam with some over easy eggs on the side. And of course, we can't have tortillas, the low carb tortillas, huh? Hey, Sammy, love your makeup and your lipstick color is pretty. Hey, Ray, can't comment on your lips because I can't see you. <laughs> just know I'm beautiful. Just I'm know he's beautiful. Outside. Ray just took a shower, so he's relaxing. He can't jump on camera right now. He's been working. 13 hours today, guys. He works 13 hours, seven days a week. He leaves at three something in the morning. Doesn't get home till like seven, seven thirty. So I don't see him. We only get like two hours together until he's done with this job. He's almost done with this job and then he'll take a little break and then he'll go to the next job. If y'all didn't know, he works in the refineries because I know a lot of people really ask. Don't need a break, but there's not too much. Yeah, he really don't need a break, but because I was off for so long. Yeah. You was off for a while, a couple months ago. All right, if y'all been following us, y'all know last year he was in what, Utah? For like three Oklahoma months. Twice in, in Wyoming? Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma. He was gone for a while. So I take advantage of when he works here in town. What's up, Monica? I love the white eyeliner, girl. Thank you. I feel like it's very summer. I'm thinking about buying like different colored eyeliners too, like blue. I could put a pop of blue in like colored ones. Oh, you said hi to Monica? Yeah. Mmm. This is so good. Y'all need this Blackstone. Y'all need to get it. Definitely invest in it. I absolutely love it. And it's super easy to clean. Like all this is just going to wipe right off. Maybe I can show y'all. I'll put it like to a plate to the side just so I can show y'all how easy it is to clean. The hell is Lola, man? I guess it's another person we We might be going to Austin. Was it July, June? I want to go to the KetoCon in Austin. June or July, whatever. It's one of those Maybe. months, so I definitely got to look into it. Has anybody ever been to a KetoCon? I ain't even heard of it. I didn't even, I knew they had them, but I don't know. It like slipped my mind. I never really like thought about going to one. Especially since they're not here. They're like somewhere else. Let me dress up as a keto anime girl. I'm gonna go dress up as an avocado. <laughs> Just oh kidding. <laughs> More like an avocado. Oh my god, you were terrible. <laughs> You're so dumb. I'm gonna go dress as an avocado. Ray will be the other half of the avocado. Hit. What are you doing? They smell the food I dropped on the floor earlier. Look, everything just comes right. Look how much cauliflower rice I have. Oh my god. Yeah, eat all that right now. No, I'm saving it for leftovers for the week. Well, probably just till tomorrow because it has shrimp. Yeah, you might want to eat that. Yeah. Piece, so. I'm definitely going to have to eat this tomorrow. Hey, I don't mind. I'll eat this whole plate by itself. <laughs> okay, so everything came off super quick. We're going to store this to the side. Excuse me, Dolly. And then we're going to take our beef off and then we'll clean it up. Babe, can you bring me some napkins? I wonder if they're pr how pricey they are. She said they're pricey. What, at KetoCon? Guys, I haven't looked into it yet. But I'd rather go. If you're going to go, might as well go for three days. You know you're going to see people who who's seen it before. I think it, you said it's in Austin, right? Yeah. Maybe we'll just pick a day or we'll go for three days. We'll see. We'll see, but I really want to go. Depends on your mama. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to drop my kids off with my mom like on the way. Be like, hi, bye. Take my kids. No, I'm just kidding. Take your grandkids. What is KetoCon? It's a keto event, basically. I don't know. I know it's a keto event. I'm pretty sure they sell keto stuff there. We'll see. I've never been to one, so I really want to look into it, but I've heard about it. No, for Ray's taking a picture what? of me. Huh? Wait, we gotta show the food. Ray's my photographer. Okay. <laughs> Ray's always taking pictures of me, it's so bad. Someone gotta post. But the tickets are pricey. I really need to look. It's July 8th through 10th. Thank you. Thank you for the compliments on my makeup. The Royer is an exercise machine, full body exercise machine. Huh. Yeah, I've been exercising, but I mostly just lift weights. Extra All the time. Ray's been wanting to run extra or walk every day. But we need to get a better treadmill. Yeah, because I'm too big for this treadmill, all the way. Yeah, it's a smaller treadmill, and he's a big guy. It's not a smaller one, it's a regular one. I'm a big boy, I don't need a big boy. He's a heavy duty yeah. treadmill. Yeah, dude. He's a big boy. Go with daddy, what happened? Did you hold me with him? Okay, go with daddy. Did you hold me? Sorry guys, my boys are, Did you hold me? are play fighting. It's not play fighting, they're fighting. Where he's a great hubby. Oh, he's always supportive. Definitely. He's trying to make me famous so he don't have to work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't mind working. No, I'm just kidding. I told him one day I'll be famous and you can be my cameraman at home. He can work with me. <laughs> mm, I'm so I don't work. mind working because it, it gets me away. I'll I'm from Austin. Y'all are going to like it down here. I've been to Austin, but it's been a very long time since I've been to Austin, honestly. Like me and Ray have been together nine years and I haven't been to Austin in nine years. I've been there before that. So I was like a teenager. So it's been super long. I passed through Austin going to work. I want to be child. Every time I hear about Austin, everybody just mentions like Sixth food. Street. Right? Sixth Street. Food, food. You both compliment each other very thank you. Sixth Street, yeah. They just said Sixth Street since you won't have the kids. So. What is Sixth Street? It's like a party. Oh, like it's a party? Like, all people talk I don't drink, but it sounds fun. Mm, I don't drink, guys. Y'all know what keto? I cannot handle no drinks. I'll be drunk because you don't have the carbs. Oh my god, this is so good. My dogs are watching me eat. Austin is full of people from California now. <laughs> mm. no I'm sure. I've been. To, I used to live in California. No keto for me. Hmm? No, Ray doesn't do keto. He just eats regular food. Right, but on, since on. he does, just he's just off and on too much because of his job and things like that sometimes i don't even at work I only eat and he's super picky yeah he literally only eats once a day right yeah sometimes sometimes he'll eat at work if sometimes. they have it like uh, everybody uh, one of the girls will go buy a sandwich and she'll buy me a sandwich and yeah and then um uh, and then he just eats when he gets home i cook him dinner but since he does eat regular he wants to start incorporating like a little bit of exercise i have to buy a big treadmill yeah I was like, we could, he thought about like going walking around the neighborhood and I'm like, mm, I don't know, maybe. But then we had the boys too. We got three boys, so on the street, you know. Their food is all California style. <laughs> oh, you know what? The food is very different in California. Like it's good, but if you want like Mexican food and stuff, you have to find like a good area. I have shopping list available, Mary Bell, if you would like to message me after this live. Um, it's like, I just came out with my keto cheat sheet. So if you don't know, I have a keto cheat sheet available. And what it is, it's like um, everything to get you started on keto. So me 
It's really, really good for beginners. Of course, you can have it if you're still into keto, but really for beginners, uh, if you don't know what to buy at the store, if you don't know what meats to get, veggies to get, fruits, snacks, drinks, all that stuff, I have a cheat sheet available. It's only $20. If you would like to email me, my email will be in the description in my videos, or you can message me on my Facebook page. And it's something to help you get started on. I really worked hard on that cheat sheet. I just put it out, what, yesterday? Yesterday, and I've had so many messages, so thank y'all so much on that support on that. It's doing really good. Do I have leg cramps at night? No, I do not. I used to before I started keto, and then when I started keto, it went away. Do you exercise? Maybe it's from that. I have awesome. leg cramps because I don't drink water. <laughs> yeah, Ray has leg cramps because he. I always like tell him you need to drink more water. For real. Maybe up some water. Maybe you need electrolytes. If you're not taking electrolytes, maybe that'll help. Mm. Have you thought about plastic surgery? I go back and forth with that. Um, maybe. I don't have too much excess skin. Of course, I'll have like a mommy tummy. But I'm trying to work out as much as I can before I want to go that route. Because I don't know if I want to do it or not. Um, so I'm really just going to push myself with the workouts. Um, I wasn't too, like I was big of course. Like I was really overweight. But I don't think I was that much to where I had a lot of excess skin. And I don't know, surgery makes me super nervous. I've already had surgery before for my appendix removal. So if y'all do see that scar on my stomach, that's what it's from. Because I get that question asked a lot if I have weight loss surgery before. I've never had weight loss surgery before. I just did strictly keto. And I don't know if I'll be able to even get surgery with that scar already there. Like I would have to look into it. But I'm really trying to work out really hard first. Now if I work out and I get to where I want to be and I still have a little bit of excess skin maybe i'll definitely let y'all know maybe that's a big maybe you gotta say bowl for me <laughs> what i say i don't i've never thought i've never realized that i say a lot of words different until y'all point it out like i always said bowl and i feel like i just say it normal but i guess i don't <laughs> i don't know everybody always makes fun of me for that word bowl and what else um yeah, all kinds of i don't know all kinds of words that i say I get really bad leg cramps when I don't have my leg. Yeah, you need electrolytes. If it helps you, definitely stick with that. Let me see what you cooked. Oh, I made beef and broccoli and um, shrimp cauliflower fried rice on the side. So yeah, oh, I was supposed to be cleaning this. Babe, give me some napkins. Can you wet one, like very little? I just wanna see, show them that it wipes down off um, easily. So this cooled down, so I'm just gonna wipe it off so y'all can see how easily it cleans. Must it be hard? show oh my god i've never realized how i said that show, show. Sh Here. say show 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 why do you all do this to me okay i have a wet paper towel you're supposed to clean it with soap and water but first you want to take off all this stuff and you can just push it to the back oh you throw it on the floor there's a drip tray in the back yeah. and it catches it and then you just uh, detach the drip tray like from any oils, and then you just clean that. Or you can remove the drip tray and let it fall to your dogs. Oh my God, don't do that. The vacuum. <laughs> the vacuums. But it's super easy to clean. Like everything just comes right off. And then I'll clean it with soap and water once I'm done. I like this. Thank you, babe. It was Ray's idea. Because I've seen it before, but I didn't mention it. Oh, yeah, I found it on TikTok. You know how everything goes viral on TikTok, right? And I saw cash roll. Yes, I say cash roll terribly. Um, everything goes viral on TikTok. So I saw it one day on TikTok, and I was going to show my husband. But I was like, I already have one. And I don't want to be like, hey, buy me this one too. So, are you gay? <laughs> so, what? Are you gay? Am I gay? Me? Yes, are you gay? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, she's not sure um what's the cause y'all totally distracted me so i seen it one day on tiktok and um i was gonna mention it to my husband but i didn't because i already had one and then he saw it and i was like yes he's seen it maybe he'll get it and he did i didn't even have to say nothing yeah later because i forgot about it yeah what electrolytes do you recommend let me show you 
Oh, baby, my electrolytes. They're over there on the counter. It's the little one up top. I'll show you right now. I like Perfect Keto um, electrolytes. They come in so many different flavors. Which one, baby? Which one? Oh. You sent me no, just the little one, little one. Up top. The collagen? No, the electrolytes. I don't know what the heck. It's the other one that doesn't say collagen. The chocolate? No. What the heck is it? Collagen, collagen, and chocolate. Oh, it's not over there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was over there. Oh, it's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was over there. I'm all confusing him. Okay, so these are the electrolytes that I use by Perfect Keto. Um, this is the pink lemonade flavor. They have tons of different flavors. They have watermelon, uh, pink lemonade, I can't remember, black cherry, I believe. And I do have a discount code, Keto Asami, if y'all want to give these electrolytes a try or anything from Perfect Keto. Keto Asami at checkout and you can get a discount. But I love these electrolytes. They're super good. Yeah, see, everybody's saying Perfect Keto products. These are awesome products. Definitely worth the money. They're collagen, electrolytes, MC2 oil powders. Their bars, their bars are super good. Like everything on there is really amazing. Um, so definitely give that a try. How much more weight do you want to lose? I really don't concentrate on my pounds anymore. I did hit my goal weight. My goal weight was 130. Um, I'm still kind of overweight, like quotation marks, overweight from my height. But I'm not worried about my pounds. I'm just trying to lean out while working out. So if I lean out and I lose a couple more pounds, I don't mind it. But I'm really concentrating more on my inches and building muscle. I started at 200. I'm at one. I keep jumping between 130 and 131. But I'm basically at 130. Um, I'm only 4'11". I think I'm supposed to be weighing like 120 for my height. But I don't want to be super, super skinny. I just want to be fit. So I got like a little mommy tummy that I want to get rid of. I'm trying to tone on my arms. Oh, somebody told me that my arms are looking more toned. Thank you so much because I've been working so hard on my arms. My arms are getting there. Hey, I'm just trying to really tone out. Look at that. Oh, look at this. I did not have this. I did not have that. And this has definitely gone up a lot. So I'm super proud of that I've been working on my arms. Soon you're going to see me lifting Ray. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How many years have you been doing keto? I have been doing keto three years and I went from 200 to 130, but I lost the majority of my weight within like the first year. And ever since then, I've been making small changes. Um, I've been losing a lot of inches. And even when your weight doesn't move, you still see changes like a lot. I always tell people to take pictures. If y'all just saw my 90 day challenge picture, guys, that was literally like a three pound difference and I lost a lot of inches and I'm already leaning out. So I'm super proud of that. Can I take Perfect Keto electrolytes? Yes, yes you can. You can do these while fasting, I believe. Yeah. Basically, because you don't eat. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes, my arms look going. I'm so proud of my arms. I actually have a picture. I need to retake the picture. I'll probably retake it soon because when I first started working out last year, I took a before picture of my arms and I just haven't looked at it. I've just been trying to make progress without looking at the before pictures. So I really need to look at that before picture. And I should post it very soon. And I'll do that. Uh, I do recommend Dairy Free Keto if you are stuck at a stall. Because I did it and it took me out my stall. I was stuck like at 137 pounds. And I kept jumping between 135 and 137. And I went dairy free for a month. And it made a really big difference. Now I do have dairy. But I try to not have so much of it. Like an overwhelming amount. I definitely try to cut back. But if you're stuck at a stall. I recommend it. Dirty fasting. I just heard of that. I haven't heard of. What is dirty fasting? Because I haven't heard of it. I've only done water while fasting, but just wanted to know if you've heard of it. No, I haven't. What is that supposed to be? I feel like fasting is fasting. Why you gotta make it dirty? <laughs> yes, my shoulder muscles. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've been like, I've been really working on my legs too, like my thighs. I've been really wanting to lean out my thighs a bit. But a lot of my arms, because honestly, like everybody has like that thing where they hate, right? And I used to, I hate my arms sometimes. I hate this. This has definitely gone down a lot, but before it was like really bad. You know when you take a picture, you're wearing a muscle shirt and then you're like posing and then you see this, I don't like it. 
Ugh, it's gross. So I've been really working on my arms. The zero carb that the is no. So anything low carb wise like low carb breads and low carb tortillas are all going to be dirty keto because they do have hidden ingredients in there so have those in moderation um like i said if you're at a stall too in your weight loss and you're having too many low carb tortillas too many low carb breads you definitely need to cut back thank you so much but there definitely is more low carb tortillas out there that are cleaner they're just more expensive and they're definitely different textures. I know there's some low carb tortillas out there. I totally forgot the name of it. I have it in my freezer. Let me get them. Because I just want to show y'all and I don't want to leave y'all hanging. So these low carb tortillas are cleaner than like the other flour tortillas that you would get off the shelf. These are in the freezer sections. I got this big pack at Costco, but they do sell them at Walmart and H-E-B. They're just pricey, super pricey if you're someone that eats low carb tortillas all the time. But if you want a cleaner version, they're definitely worth it. I keep them frozen. They're made with almond flour, tapico flour, water, sea salt, xanthan gum, apple cider vinegar, oregano flax seeds and contains almonds because of the um almond flour so it's way more cleaner than you would get like a regular flour tortilla but like i said a little bit pricey and they do kind of cook different um you got to cook these more on the low they tend to burn faster they're a little bit thinner um but they're not too bad um they they kind of are a little bit brittle not as thick as like the regular one but if you're trying to cut back with more cleaner ingredients these are these are okay these are pretty good if you want to spend the money on them Hold on. Which one did I like? Huh? Which one did I like? The La Banderas. That one? Yeah, I believe. No, not that one. I haven't gave you that one. The La Tortilla Factory low carb taco ones. Oh, okay. I haven't tried the fa the Tortilla Factory blah, blah, blah. Tortilla Factory ones. My favorite low brand tortilla is the La Banderas. I love those. They're super good. HEB is okay every once in a while too. Is low carb diet different from keto? Yes, there is a difference. Um, keto is more strict than low carb. You can have a lot more things on low carb than keto wise. And keto is strictly to 20 net carbs. And low carb, you can have more carbs depending on how much, depending on you. Everybody has a different carb intake if you're doing low carb and everybody has a different fat and protein intake and calories. Huh? yeah so like for example if you're doing low carb and not keto you can have like grilled nuggets i mean not grilled nuggets keto chick-fil-a nuggets from chick-fil-a like they're breaded ones because technically they're low carb they're not keto because they do have flour in them but they are low in carbs so that's the difference you can't have those if because they're not keto they're breading in flour but if you're just doing low carb they are pretty low in carbs so you can definitely have them Any ideas on do-it-yourself dairy-free creamer, coconut? Yeah, coconut milk, and they do sell dairy-free creamers because I bought them before. But you gotta be careful because some of them aren't keto. You really gotta read the ingredients. It was like, I'm not even gonna lie, going dairy-free is a little bit complicated. Um, more like um, trying to find creamer-wise, like things like that. With food-wise, it's mostly like protein and veggies. Like that's a lot of what you're gonna have. I did find some creamers. Almond milk is not dairy, so you can have that. And coconut milk. But a lot of dairy-free dairy free things are kind of on the pricey side sometimes. Just broke my stall thanks to the stomach bug. Oh, it worked. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better, hopefully. 40 carbs a day. Yeah, see, see, people do different. So like, if you have a lot more weight to lose, so for example, my husband would have a lot more weight to lose because he's a bigger guy. If he eats 20 net carbs a day, he's going to be hungry. He's going to be a lot more hungry. So I always tell him if he's starting off, hey, give yourself like 50 net carbs a day, 40 net carbs. Yeah, like 40 net carbs a day, depending. And that'll be super good for him. He's going to have a higher protein intake, a lot more calories than I would have. So everybody is different. We stick with keto forever. So I'm definitely going to be doing keto long term because not because of my weight loss because it just makes me feel super good like when i eat bad carbs i don't feel so good it makes me feel sick i always feel bloated just because i've been doing keto for so long so when i do keto i feel really good 
Now, I am going to start incorporating carb up days. I think within this next two weeks, I'll start doing some videos on there. I have tried it before, but I feel like I didn't try it long enough to see results. So by what I mean by carb up days, they're going to be healthy carbs, but I'm only going to be doing it twice a week. So I'm going to be carb cycling. Um, I figured out my macros for that, especially because I work out. I try to work out five days a week, four to five days a week. So I'm lifting weights. I need that extra carbs. And I feel like if I do want to jumpstart like building muscle, I need to incorporate some healthy carbs. So I'm going to be doing it twice a week. I will be doing videos on it. I'm going to be learning as I go and teaching y'all. And I'm going to show you if that helps make a difference, especially since I'm going to be doing this long term. So what I mean by healthy carbs is I'll start incorporating like sweet potatoes, um, like black beans, some white rice here and there, things like that. <clears throat> I'm doing because I'm not eating any breading. I don't know. Well, you're losing weight. If it's working for you, keep doing what you are doing. Definitely. So keto completely no carbs. Keto, you have carbs. It's just like healthy carbs net carb wise if you need help i can explain it more like a message if you really want to see it rated out and i'll definitely explain it more if you have any questions why are the almond flour tortillas higher in carbs uh because i think there's like a tampico flour in there i believe but i think it's per two tortillas yeah nut nut paws is great brand because I have tried nut pads before. It is a great yeah, it's really good. Nut pods is great. Nut pods is a great <laughs> brand. No, you know what I mean? Nut pods is a brand. <laughs> I, I talk too fast sometimes. What do you eat on cheat days or cheat meal? Uh, so I think I'm having a treat. I call them treat meals because you shouldn't deprive yourself from food. But. I think I'm going to be having a treat meal this week with my husband. I'll probably record it for y'all on how to have. And I basically eat normal food. Like, for example, I really want pasta with my husband. We wanted to go to a specific place. But I try to keep sugars out because I know my limits. I have been doing keto for three years, like I said, and sugar really, really messes me up. So if I have... A small plate of carbs I'm gonna have an unsweetened tea or like a zero sugar soda because if I have all this sugar at once and carbs it really messes me up so you definitely got to know your limits I stay away from the sweets because those are very addicting so I try to stay away from like ice cream you got to know your limits I try to stay away from the chips because chips used to be my weakness so if I can just enjoy one treat meal like one good dinner that I really wanted it definitely does the trick for me but I don't have them often, I'll be honest to you, for you. Um, I don't recommend it, especially if you're first starting out on keto and you feel like you're gonna, it's just going to set you back. I'll have it like every once in a while, every couple months, or I kind of save it for like holidays or like special occasions and things like that. But I feel like when you plan it out, it makes you feel less guilty. You do not feel guilty about it if you know that a treat day is coming up and you have it planned out. I definitely recommend to do that. Yes, there is a lot of health benefits. Yes, I have seen the magic pill when it first came out. And that definitely And that definitely helped me learn about a lot about keto too. That what? What lip color are you wearing? Yeah, a treat meal. I won't eat like all I won't have bad carbs all day. I'll just have a treat meal. Because if I eat all day, nope, I can't do it. I will be asleep. <laughs> Um, what lip color am I wearing? So to be honest, this is just a lip liner and a clear lip gloss. I just have a clear glitter lip gloss with lip liner on. Yes, I have tried the Costco keto ice cream bars. They're super good. Have you tried enlightened ones? Because those are even better. The enlightened caramel peanut ones or something like that. Those are the bomb. So those are my first favorite and then the Costco ones are my second. Yeah, I got those at Costco. I need to go to Costco again because I have a Costco card, guys, but it's like 45 minutes away from me and I've only made one trip. So I need, definitely need to go again. So I'll probably be going again soon. I've been wanting, so, I've been wanting to go to a, um, a Trader Joe's so bad and I don't have one in my area. How many solo sliced breads a week do you suggest? So it all depends on like how you take it in. 
solar bread kind of makes me a little bit bloated so i won't have it more than once a week but you can probably have it like once or twice a week what oh my god <laughs> but all right guys i hope y'all enjoyed this quick cauliflower shrimp cauliflower fried rice and keto beef stir broccoli beef stir fry yeah you got it but i super i recommend this i i'm just in love with it i i love it it's easy to clean you can cook everything at once and it's awesome for inside if you want to cook big batches of meals how many net carbs and enlightened bars i think it's two if i can't remember i think it's two it depends what flavor you get too because they have different flavors yeah but those are really good i try not to buy those often because if i do i'll be eating them all the time yes baby go with daddy go see okay go to your room sorry my baby was in our room watching tv he's like i want to go to my room at walmart yeah you can get them at walmart and then i usually get them at heb too where all the ice creams are and they also have pints like enlightened they have the bars they have the pints there's so many keto ice cream brands out there now yeah they're two nut carbs see yeah i was trying to remember but all right guys i hope y'all enjoyed this live i know it's getting late i gotta get my kids to school tomorrow um stay tuned for next week we'll be going live next week every tuesday at 7 30 um i think next week we'll be testing out the duncan Hines brownies we were supposed to do that today but i really wanted to show y'all this grill um last week i did the duncan Hines yellow cake mix next tuesday we'll test out the duncan Hines brownies never tried them before so just wanted to give you all a little bit more dessert options and see how it goes so we'll be doing that next tuesday at 7 30. but definitely make this dinner it was super good even if you don't have a blackstone cauliflower fried rice is the bomb i do have separate videos on this too yo welcome thank y'all for joining my live guys i hope everybody has a great night and do message me for those um cheap meal plans the keto wasami cheap plan if y'all need any help on a grocery list and things to get out the store good night everybody i will see y'all in the next one bye bray says bye <laughs>